The Media Lounge is where it's at. WDSC, WRPT Media Lounge, Catalyst Content Festival, Duluth, Minnesota. Kathy Werzer with you, meeting some amazing people. Mike Goitanich and Brett Peterson from Toronto are with us, filmmakers. It's called Chosen. Your project is Chosen. Chosen, yes. That's right, yeah. And I want to talk about it, but first, you got to see the trailer. So roll the trailer. <laughs> Be careful, young lady. Your father had many questions, too. He questioned his mother. He questioned his father. He questioned the Tyra. Perhaps his disappearance was the answer to all his questions. A man who abandons his community is a coward. And shall be forgotten. You know, just judging from the reaction of the crew as they were watching <laughs> the trailer. I mean, it looks like this is some pretty interesting stuff. How do you want to describe it for, for viewers? Yeah, so um, I guess I'd describe it as kind of a genre mashup, family drama on the one hand, and then kind of supernatural fantasy horror on the other hand. Um, and the story actually takes place in um, Borough Park, Brooklyn, which is one of the most insular and conservative Hasidic Jewish communities in New York. And at the beginning of the story, um, this young woman, Atara, her father has been missing for two weeks and um, her great uncle comes back from Kiev and kind of takes the place at the family table, at the head of the family table. And she becomes kind of suspicious of him. And as she starts kind of following him on his Shabbos walks at night and around the community, she comes to discover this kind of dark secret within the family and within the community. So, and uh, that secret has a bit of a supernatural twist to it. Wow, how did you come up with this story? And there's something behind this. Yeah, so I, I mean, I grew up in um, near Bathurst Street in Toronto, so large communities of Hasidic people there. And I actually, um, I come from a lot, like um, both of my grandparents on my mom's side were Holocaust survivors. So I was always very curious about Hasidic culture. Um, so I kind of like became fascinated with this group of people and I found them incredibly cinematic, just the way that they look and, and dress. And then I was also shocked to learn that it's very hard to learn about them and get to know them because of how insular they are. Very close um, and then I just kind of thought, you know, what if there was a young woman at the precipice of adulthood within this community whose father has just been missing? And then what happens when you elevate that story through the supernatural? Um, and then I was lucky enough to get some people around yeah. me who wanted to help make it. Well, so. I think the first time Mike showed me the script or had the idea, it was like 2015, 2016. And I was yeah. immediately just, oh man, I'm on board 100%. Yeah. It's been germinating for a little while, so we're really happy to be able to finally show it to folks, for sure. Yeah. So you're showing it here at Catalyst. That's right. Yeah. yeah. All right, what is that like when you show something to an audience? What, do you, what are the emotions that go through you? Uh, it's very exciting. I mean, <laughs> you get the, the yeah. feelings in your stomach, for sure. It's, uh, but that's why we're here. Hometown yeah. of Bob Dylan. Yeah, right. we don't, we, I guess we're, with this, we don't really know yet. I mean, um, yeah. because it's our first screening, this is our world premiere. For chosen and uh, I did really, not know that. And yeah, congratulations! Yeah, so, yeah, so, so, we're so we haven't experienced the actual screening. Yeah, so we'll yet, have to so. get back to you on that. Just okay. With our, just but, with our um, cast and crew so far. So yeah, so this is our world and premiere, and then we'll be uh, premiering actually in Texas in uh, at the end of the month in Austin at Austin Film Festival as well. So yeah. wow, we're just starting the festival circuit now. Yeah, um, but we're very happy to be starting off here in Duluth at Yeah, we love we love Duluth. As you say, home of Bob. Yeah, I've been to Duluth. <laughs> Excellent. We like that a lot. Nice, nice. Thank you for picking up the t-shirt. I have the same one. So this is your world premiere. Uh, what are you hoping then, who do you hope to meet here? What kind of connections do you hope to make here in Duluth for Catalyst? Well, I mean, we've already met so many fantastic people and everyone here has been so open and friendly. But obviously, we've there's a lot of work that Mike already has around the project that's been developed already. So moving that into the right people's eyes is definitely... Yeah, here. yeah, yeah. I think uh, ultimately our end goal for Catalyst is we just want to, you know, show the show the work to people and 
enjoy it with other people and okay. see you know what the reaction's like. It's definitely a very different kind of story. Uh, it's kind of unconventional and um, it's not the kind of thing that might be played at your typical festival. So we're just very excited to see how it's received and to kind of go from there and you know hopefully meet some people who enjoyed it yeah. and celebrate it all together. That's, that's ultimately yeah. what we want to do. And uh, we have two screenings. One's at the Teatro tomorrow at 5.05 and then the Vickers at 12 on Sunday. So it's very exciting. Um, I'm curious about distribution. You know, if you, if you had the best of everything that you wanted, where would this end up ultimately? Where would you hope it ends up? Sure. I mean, ultimately we want it somewhere where we can get, you know, eyeballs in front of it. And I think right now the, the best way for that to happen is to go with, like, an online streaming service of some sort. Um, there are obviously, like, the big players, like the Netflixes and the Hulus and, and that. But then there's also, like, a lot of great smaller streaming services like Crave TV and things of that nature. So really we want to be able to work with people who want to champion the project and as long as they're going to get it in front of the right audience, I think we're happy. Um, no real specifics yeah. on that. Front. There's a big plan. A lot of seasons already in the works. So yeah, yeah. Right about, so. yeah. We have yeah. about an eight season arc right now yeah. planned out for the show. Eight, so Eight yeah. season arc. Yeah. That's a lot of work, you guys. <laughs> but I can see where you're going to take this with, with you know, the right backing. Mm -hmm. So you're here in Duluth. And again, welcome. Yeah, thank you. What do you think of Duluth? Would you ever shoot here? I, I love it. We were actually yeah. walking. We, we <laughs> yeah. have a, a story in mind for a feature, actually, that we're thinking Yeah, we've been about. walking we're around. walking on the river. Taking and in the town, and uh, it's, yeah. it's pretty cool. I think there's a very interesting look to this town. It's got, it got a very cool feel to it. Yeah. And, um, yeah, as Brett mentioned, we took a little walk along the river. It's about a boat. And, I don't know if uh, we should spill the beans. Did you just the go over the, the, the lake or the river? Now, there's two Sorry different... about that. Yeah, the lake. Yeah, 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 yeah. Leading yep, yep, yep. Yeah. There, yes. It's a really wide river down there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really big river. But, yeah, um, exactly. Yeah, we were chatting about, hey, maybe there could be a story about some kind of a shipwreck. That's the only teaser that I'll give. Yeah. And then we actually came across we this came monument, across, and we went, huh. It's like a plaque about a shipwreck. Like, oh, so okay. if people want to go it's on a treasure weird. hunt and see what that monument <laughs> says, maybe they can steal our idea. Yeah. But I think we might be back in Duluth at some point to film something, and maybe yeah. it'll be that or maybe something else. Who knows? Yeah. But uh, it's definitely a cool spot, and we like the look and the vibe, and the people have been great. So thank yeah. you so much for having us. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I wish you all the best with this project. Thank you. I, mean, oh, I forgot cool. to mention, uh, just our actors over the past year, they've been doing so well. <clears throat> um, Allison, she's the lead. She Allison, just got, Allison, she just got a, a recurring role in uh, Sh Shameless. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Shameless. And, uh, <laughs> Shameless, yeah. And, uh, uh, Joshua Riviere just got on to uh, Escape at Danamora with like Benicio Del Toro. He's in that a few few episodes, and he's also on the OG. The last OG on Showtime, I believe, or sorry, on um, TBS. Yes. Yep. And then Burns. Uh, Burn Cohen is the rabbi in The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Yeah. That's the uncle so, in the show. And, this, oh, and everyone really? just in the last year just started landing all these roles, and yeah. we're so happy for all of them. It's fantastic. Well, there's some there's some definite the good energy. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, it's starting to build definitely, and. Um, <coughs> Yeah, and our, our director, Danny Pfeffer, gets in um, tomorrow night, I believe. So yeah. he'll be here for our Q&A on Sunday. We're very excited for him to be joining. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, maybe, maybe this, this spirit of this place for your world premiere is just exactly what you need. I hope so. I for continued so. success. <laughs> well, Mike and Brett, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. And thank it's you. called Chosen. So do, again, check out the trailer. Do you have a, a website that you want to direct people to? No website. Our Instagram um, has a lot of stuff on there, um, and you can find that it's at underscore chosen pilot. Okay. Um, so maybe we can drop a link somewhere, something like that. We'd be happy to do that. And that'd be great. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, we're on Facebook also under the same heading, and that's that's pretty much all of it. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy your stay at Catalyst in Duluth. Thank Thanks you so much. Appreciate you guys. There's much more to come, of course. We'll be back from the Media Lounge, the WDSE WRPT Media Lounge at the Catalyst Content Festival in Duluth. I'm Kathy Worzer. Thank you, Kathy.